if you think that fasting clears your brain, just going ketogenic does, does the same thing. Because guess what? The mechanism behind brain improvement during fasting is ketogenic. What's going on, everybody? It's Coach Bronson here. And we're going to talk today about a phrase that I have not heard in a long time. It's been a while probably several years since I've heard anyone talk about fasting mimicking and how a ketogenic diet compares to fasting itself. Fasting is a huge thing. It's all the rage right now. And I'm wondering, I'm going to put some information out there that may uh, cause you to question, do you need to be fasting or is a ketogenic diet doing what you want it to do already. Before we get into the details of that conversation, I want to remind you to subscribe to the channel. Please click on the bell so you're notified every single time I come out with a new video. There's at least two a week, sometimes more. Um, and then most importantly, please share the information, share my channel with as many people as possible. I want to try to help people answer questions, find resolutions, uh, identify what the specific things are they're trying to do and the concepts and principles that will help them move forward. So fasting mimicking was one of the things I learned about early on when I started learning about ketogenic carnivore diets and the idea that the things that our body does in response to lack of nutrition can be beneficial was kind of a mind screw when I first heard about it, right? Starve yourself and it helps your health, right? That just kind of didn't make sense to me. So looking into that, right? We know reduce inflammation, increases autophagy, right? Reduces uh, glucose, right? You have, if you're not eating carbs, you've got less glucose in your system to burn. So it, it increases your fat burn. It decreases insulin spikes. Like there's a lot of cool things that happen when we stop eating for a period of time. Now, one of the things you'll notice as you start following the ketogenic diet more, as you start reading about it, as you start doing research, if you start looking at research that's out there is, one of the basic, basic concepts behind ketogenic diets, ketogenesis, ketolytic pathway, ketones, ketosis, all the different keto phrases in scientific literature, one of the basic premises that is consistently put forward is that a ketogenic diet is the result of starvation or extreme carbohydrate restriction. It's always presented in the context of starvation. So if ketogenesis, being ketogenic, is a result of starvation, if you can do the same thing and get the same benefits of, a keto of being ketogenic without starving yourself, maybe that's something to look at. Why are we fasting? Why are we doing 72-hour fast, 36-hour fast, 24-hour fast? All of these things to optimize all of these metabolic, biological, and physiological mechanisms because fasting is a hormetic stress. I'm sure you've heard that term before. It's a beneficial stress. If I can get all of the same results of fasting just by reducing my carb intake and becoming ketogenic, it is a fasting mimicking diet. The, the impact of being ketogenic is the same impact of fasting. I want to say that again, guys. The impact of being ketogenic is the same impact of fasting. If you are moving from a standard American diet, paleo, whole 30, whatever, and you are moving into a lower carb, adequate fat, adequate protein, whole foods based diet, you are becoming optimized under the ketogenic label. You know, I, you know, I love labels, right? We're going to call it the ketogenic label and the benefits of eating that way, the benefits of providing your body, high nutrition, bioavailability and bioavailability, yeah, bioavailability and highly satiating foods is going to give you the same benefit as fasting. It's think about this. Let's, let's talk about this. Let's break it down just a little bit. I'm not going to get super into the weeds. I've only got a couple minutes. I tried not to make these videos too long, but the benefits of fasting increases autophagy, reduces inflammation, increases brown fat, inhibits glucose, well, reduces glucose utilization, right? Inhibits glucose utilization. When we are ketogenic, 
our body reduces, not just because we don't need it as much, but it actually reduces it. It slows down the mechanism of how our body utilizes glucose. It eliminates insulin spikes and it improves the function of T cells in our immune system. There are a ton of benefits. Just the inflammation reduction alone of being ketogenic impacts a bazillion different things from our metabolic health and performance. Just like, just like that. If I stop eating, I reduce inflammation in general, unless I overdo it. That's a whole nother discussion. All of the benefits that you're going to find from fasting, you're going to find from a ketogenic diet. Ketogenic diet, your body's ability to break down fatty acids and produce ketones, along with your body's ability to utilize ketones for fuel is the optimal way to improve metabolic function. Your mitochondria is happier. Your immune system is happier. Your gut health is happier. All of the systems of your body are happier with less inflammation. Management is improved. All of the things you could possibly ask for. Why are we, and here's a question I want you to ask yourself. If I can get all the benefits of, a fast, of fasting by following a fasting mimicking diet, the ketogenic diet mimics the benefits of fasting. If I can get all the benefits of fasting just by reducing my carb intake, why am I also fasting when I go keto? Why am I forcing myself to do this extra restriction? We all complain about all the time. It's so restrictive. Well, it's so restrictive. Why are you also starving yourself? You're making it more restrictive than it needs to be. Why am I doing this where I'm also trying to improve my metabolic function, but oh, I'm also going to in include a protocol where I now am reducing my overall nutrient intake. I need micronutrients. I need nutrition. I need my macros. But three times a week, I'm going to just not eat for a day or two or two and a half or whatever it may be, because that's better for my health to starve myself. Please, guys, explain this to me. I'm, I'm trying to understand. If you can get all the benefits and more, because here's something else that, you, that we don't talk about. Not only is it fasting mimicking, but it actually provides benefits beyond what fasting can provide. It inhibits proteolysis. It decreases the need for your body to break down protein for energy. When you are ketogenic, when you have ketones in your system, I'm not talking about ketosis, just in general, when ketones are a primary source of fuel, it's not just protein sparing. Any fuel other than protein is protein sparing. Okay. If I can use, if the body has something else to use, it will use it before it uses protein. So yes, ketones are protein sparing. Carbs are protein sparing too. Okay. But ketones, unlike carbs, actually inhibit further protein breakdown. It inhibits proteolysis. So not only does it not require protein for fuel, but it says, hey, keep it where it needs to be. We don't need you to do anything extra for any reason. It improves satiety signaling. Ketones help improve leptin response so you feel full faster. When you are eating a whole food, animal-based, adequate protein, adequate fat, nutrient profile on a regular basis with the amount that you need in order to get the nutrition that you need, you will tend to lean towards being full faster, it will last longer, and you will overall eat what you need, not more than you need. And then all the mental function stuff. Guys, the improvements in brain health. If you think, again, if you think that fasting clears your brain, just going ketogenic does, does the same thing because guess what? The mechanism behind brain improvement during fasting is ketogenic, okay? I don't know of anything, and if you, if you find something, let me know, but I haven't seen anything that is a benefit of fasting that either, and I'm gonna throw this in there because it's in my book, that's coming out and it's stuff I've talked about in the past. Hey there, I wanted to let you know about my latest book, Body Confident, that's coming out in September 2024. Call it a critical thinking guide to your health journey because it is a framework, a guide, a blueprint that's gonna help you understand and be able to filter all the information that's out there on the internet that you're getting from social media, YouTube, go to bodyconfidentbook.com sign up for updates. The book comes out in September, primarily going ketogenic does that fasting doesn't do, or that physical exercise and resistance training does that fasting doesn't do. If you are looking for the benefits of fasting without the overhead 
the stress, the anxiety, the willpower, the struggle of trying to maintain a schedule of fasting and changing your, your routine up every three days or whatever it is you're doing, feeling guilty because you didn't last as long as you wanted to with this 72 hour fast, all the, all the stuff. If you want to just remove all that stuff out of the equation, whole food, animal based, adequate protein, adequate fat, resistance training on a regular basis, and you will get all the same benefits and immediately start impacting your body's ability to function, build strength, build physical independence, and get all the benefits of fasting without starving yourself. Something to think about, guys. Uh, there are different ways to do different things. Fasting may be something you want to do for whatever reason. That's fine. I'm not saying don't fast. If that is a something that you can wrap your head around and you want to implement it, then go for it. Have a blast. I'm just trying to let you think. I, I just want you to think about things a little bit differently. And just because fasting is the current craze in the community right now, doesn't mean it's optimal for everybody. And it may not be the most efficient solution that gives you the biggest bang for your buck on top of all the benefits you think you're going to get from fasting. All right. Take it easy, guys. We'll see you next time. Hey there. Did you know that I have a free community on Discord? If you go to discord.coachbronson.com, you can join my community. You can meet other people. You can engage in a group of individuals who are all searching for and having success in finding their context and the solutions that will work best for them. Hop yourself in there, discord.coachbronson.com. See you soon.